Do you want to see what three hours of diving in the Fox River in De Pere, Wisconsin looks like? Let me show you. And a total of 233 ripping rafts here. I take over half the table. Look at all those ripping rafts. Got a bunch of other lipless crank baits in there. Got a bunch of blade baits. Got a bunch of spoons and spinners, a bunch of stick baits, some shads, a lot of swivels, some lead. That's not all of it. <laughs> if you ever wondered what 631 jigs look like, here they are right now. 631, crazy. That's all of them. That was a lot of work. That was a lot of work. Unbelievable. It took me about five hours to do all this today. Also found some pliers here, some forceps, this rod and reel right here, little rod and reel right there. It's just unbelievable how many of these lures are down there. And I could go back tomorrow if I wanted to for another hour or two and probably get the same amount of lures. They're everywhere. I'm glad I can go out there, clean it up, get all the line out. I had a lot of line that came off of these. Um, fish get tangled up in the end line. Crawfish get tangled up in it. Mud puppies and fish get tangled up in the hooks. So I'm just glad I can get this out of the water. It helps the water environment, water life. And it also helps me continue my business and helps me donate to different organizations, which I'll be doing in another couple of weeks. I'm on pause right now. Best job of my life, I love it. It is a lot of tedious work. And uh, after this, I gotta scrub all these lures. There are a few of these that still have good hooks. That one's a good hook, but there's a lot of bad hooks. There's a total of 1,046 lures here. And these hooks, if they're bad, I can't replace them. I'll just recycle the lead. Someday, I'll get to go fishing. Just not today.